What's up YouTube? Today on Crackers Comics we're going to do an unboxing video of the Marvel Bishiju Thor statue by Kotobukiya. And here she is. She's a little bit on the bigger side compared to the other Kotobukiya statues that came out in the past. She retails for $84.99. We're going to take a look at the box art before we open her up and dive inside. Alright, so let's take a look at the front panel. Uh, of course she comes with different faces, different hands. And then we got the little artwork here. And here's a full look at the statue, what she looks like. Flowing cape and all that, the boots, the base. Alright, and here's a look at the back panel and you can see a little close up. That's uh, the alternate face. You can either put the mask on or put the face on. And then I think we'll keep the mask on. She looks cool. Alright, and then we get a quick preview, a glimpse at uh, the statue coming out later this year, which is Loki. We all know in the comic books she took a, or he took a female form. But what's really cool about these two statues, the bases connect and looks like one big statue all together. So let's uh, dive inside and uh, see what she looks like out of the box. Alright guys, I'm sure you already know, but this statue is based off the new Thor, or the female Thor. Uh, spoiler alerts in case you're not reading the comic book. But uh, Jane Forster, the longtime love of Thor, is now the goddess of thunder and the comic book is really good it's by Jason Aaron and Russell Dorderman um, they really really flesh out the realms and they just wrapped up the storyline uh, War of the Realms and they're starting the Shar vs Asgard War uh, Russell Dorderman's artwork is amazing and Jason Aaron paces everything out and he really like I said fleshes out the world so if you haven't been reading it check it out it's pretty good also, if you've been wondering what happened to the old Thor, the original Thor, or as he's going by now, Odin's son, he just started a new comic book, The Unworthy Thor. He's trying to become the God of Thunder again. Again, if you're not reading the comic book, spoilers. But it is written by Jason Aaron and Olivier Copiel, which is another amazing artist. And apparently there's another hammer from the, from the multiverse, and if he can get his hands on the hammer, he can become Thor again. And it just started... This is uh, issue number four, and it just came out recently, and it's another good read. And again, the artwork is absolutely amazing. Olivier Copiel is just perfect for that sort of setting, the way he draws. Uh, so check out your local comic book stores and check for The Mighty Thor and The Unworthy Thor. Let's go ahead and get her out of the box. Make sure I don't break her like I did with the dead Lady Deadpool. So there she is guys, fresh out of the box. We're going to take a closer look. Uh, she has the Jane Forster head on. I really dig the pose, it's very heroic. And we're going to switch out the heads. I thought she came with uh, different hands, but she doesn't. She just comes with the hammer and then the second head. Alright, so there's a close up of the face. And you can see just in the very pretty girl, the Bishi Juice style. Doesn't really look as animated as the others. I mean, she has the big eyes. But I would say it's more of a classic look than an, uh, an anime look. And guys, you can see here, the paint job is really great on the gauntlets. It has a nice little sheen to it. And then, if you could look on, I guess, her chest plate. Again, the sheen. All the way down to the belt, to the detail, and the ripples in the cloak. And even her shoes. The wings. And the little bolts there. And then the base just looks like uh, some, some rock. But again, you can when you get the Loki statue, you can connect them together. I don't know how, because it doesn't really seem to be any like connection point, except for these like ridges, if you can see right there. Those ridges right there, I'm guessing that's where she's going to connect. And we'll do a quick little side view. Again, look at even like the muscle tone. She's not overly diesel, but she looks very athletic. And then let's look at the cape, because the cape is made out of cape. Actually, no, the cape is made out of plastic. But again, it has the ripples and the different seams, and it flows. Alright, let's take a look at the hammer. I think that this is the only thing that's disappointing. I mean, the detail is great. You can see on the handle, it's got the little grips. I guess the leather is supposed to be uh, wrapped around the handle there. And then it's got, of course, the little strap. But the only thing I would complain that it doesn't have the inscription, he who will be third worthy will become God of Thor, or whatever it is, I don't know it by heart. But here's Mjolnir, 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 whatever. Alright guys, I just if you get anything out of this video, just a little helpful hint. I almost broke the strap at the end there. Um, when you insert the hammer, it comes out. 
and you can see it's got a little groove and in the hole you can see there's a tab on the left so you just put it in that way snaps into place so you take it out and then stick it through her hand and then reattach the hammer alright guys so there she is with the hammer uh, and I switch out the face uh, you didn't have to use much force to pop off the head it actually came off very easily again don't forget to just take the hammer off the top of the handle and I think she looks way better in the mask we'll go for a little more close up here she's got the full on lips and again look at the detail in the mask with the engravings and the wings on the side I really hope that they keep this scale I think this is a perfect size going forward I'm pretty sure since the Loki statue is going to match up with this one they're going to be about the same size again a little bit more on the pricey side normal Kotobukiya's or regular Kotobukiya's are at $74.99 this was $84, $89.99 I'm sorry I forgot um, so I don't know moving forward if that's how much they're going to be but she looks awesome, 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 and I got a special place in the bear cave for her. All right, guys, I consulted the mighty Google because it was bothering me, and the quote is, whosoever holds this hammer, if he, I guess she in this case, be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. So there she is, guys, the mighty Thor, goddess of thunder. Look out for Loki sometime later this year. If you go to Kotobuki's website, they really don't give release dates. They usually just say spring 2017. But Loki will be out sometime later this year. And I did double check. $89.99 for her and also for Loki. I'll be doing an unboxing video for that because I already pre-ordered her. Because she looks awesome as well. Don't forget to check out the comic The Mighty Thor by Jason Aaron and Russell Dorderman. And The Unworthy Thor. See if Odin's son can get his hammer back again. Jason Aaron and Olivier Copiel. Again, thanks for watching, guys. I'm No Lock No More, the mighty Kraken. I'll see you next time.